Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating the lag on both the analog and the digital OcuSync system on the DJI Goggles Race Edition. Now as you can see I have got a phone set up where the OcuSync camera is looking through at the phone and you can see that image coming back through the goggles and what I'm going to demonstrate is the lag as we film this and press start. So as you can see, I have just hit started and you can see the camera is looking at both the phone and the image and you can see the difference on the screen. Now I am currently in the digital OcuSync mode in 480p. So I'm doing this in the fast latency mode, which DJI state is approximately 50 milliseconds. Now I've had a look over this footage as I was doing it. And what I've also done is stopped it in some specific places to demonstrate what the lag actually is. And here is one of them. You can see that where I've paused it, it's 3.80 on the phone and 3.75, which is 50 milliseconds. In the second clip, you can see that it is basically the same 4.60 on the actual phone image whereas 4.055 on the goggles. The next, I'm looking at 720p. Now, the lag on this is a little bit further. Now, I haven't stopped stills on this one. I've purely just done this to demonstrate what the lag is like. So if you want to see it, just pause the video and it will show you at any time the difference between the two. In my tests, this is coming up about 670 milliseconds, 60 to 70 milliseconds. And the next clip is in 960p, and this is looking at the lag in this mode, and in my tests, again, coming out between sort of 70 and 80 milliseconds, depending on how you're doing it. Now, I would have liked to have done this with a slightly higher frame rate camera. Unfortunately, I didn't have one available. Next time, I would do it to be able to show it a bit better. But what it does show that the lag in the digital OcuSync mode is on par with what DJI are saying it is. Okay, next we're going to look at the analog FPV latency. Now for this test, I have a 5.8 gigahertz camera looking at my phone with a set of HeadPlay HDs and the DJI goggles on analog. Now, as you can see, I've hit play and we can see the image through the screen of all of them. Now, what I want to show you is in this first still that's coming up now, I've just hit start and you can see on the phone that it shows basically a 10th of a second, but that hasn't made it to the goggles yet. This is the first frame showing that image. The next frame is the next one in line, which shows it appearing on the goggles. And as you can see, the DJI goggles are basically showing 0 0.03 and the head play is showing 0, 0.00. So in my tests, there is a slight improvement in the DJI goggles over the head play, but overall they are both very similar, as you can see from the video. But this is purely just to demonstrate what the analog FPV latency is like. It really is on par with all of the other goggles that I have used out there, which most people are using in general. Now, this isn't the ideal way to set it up. There are far more better and technical ways of doing it. But I did say in my last video, I wanted to come up with a way of just being able to show this to you guys, to be able to just say, look, they are pretty much as quick as anything else out there, if not quicker. In the OcuSync, in 480p, they are definitely hitting the 50 milliseconds that DJI is stating. And then in the 720 and 960, it's on par with the specification they're provided. What I can say is in those digital modes that the latency is very quick. It's, when you compare it to analog, it's hard to tell the difference. It really, really is. Anyway, that's it for this short video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I will do another one again soon.